Hi, this is Patrick. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a site in Dreamweaver and to FTP files up to that site onto your web server. In this case, I'm going to specifically focus on the Eurace server used at the University of Colorado Denver. But the first thing that I do before I start doing anything with Dreamweaver is I first think about my folder management. And folder and file management is really key when managing websites, especially big websites, because all of a sudden if you start putting things in the wrong place, then the links don't work and, and it can become a nightmare very quickly. So the first thing that I do is I decide where on my computer I want to store my files that I'm working on. So in this case, I tend to put things in my documents and I'm going to create a folder called My Websites. So in this case, I'm using sentence case, and I have capitalized words and spaces in my folder name. Usually for my websites, though, within the website, I don't want to ever use capital letters or spaces. So I'm going to create a folder for this class called INTE5670. And then within that, I'm going to create a folder called URA. And that's just the name of the server, so it's a general place to put things. You might find that as you take other classes or create other websites that you're going to have different folders here. But at this point when I start naming my folders I try to use short lowercase no spaces in my file names. So short words so I don't want real long folder names because they can eventually become part of the URL. And so once I know where I want to put my files and my folders within on my computer, I can then open Dreamweaver and get going. So when you open Dreamweaver, the first thing you have to do is create what they call a site in Dreamweaver before you can FTP. And so I'm going to click on site and I'm going to click new site. And so I'm going to call this URA. And I'm going to click this folder and find the folder that I had called URA, there it is. I'm going to select it. And then I'm going to hit serve servers and I'm going to click this plus sign and call this URA. So for URA, we have to SFTP, not all servers you have to do that. And so this address for URA is uc, ura.ucdenver.edu. And then you put in your password, your username and password. I always test this to see if my password's up to date. URA specifically will prompt you after 90 days to change your password again, and so you'll get an error at this point if your password um, needs to be updated. You could get an error for other reasons, but that's often a reason why. So I'm going to use the root directory. I'm going to leave it blank right now, and we'll come back and change this in a minute. So I'm going to click Save, and we're going to click Save. So now down here on the right under Files, I can see this option. If I don't see files, I can always go to Windows and look for it there under Window. But I'm going to click Connect, and there it goes. So it shows me that I'm successful. This little window is hard to see, so I like to expand it. And this kind of gives you a traditional FTP view. And so I can see there's a pubs, a mail file, and a public HTML file. So ultimately, all student emails taking place in the mail file, but your website needs to go within this public HTML. So if you see this mail in the pubs, then there's something wrong. Generally, you don't want to see that when you're setting up this account. So I want to make sure that I add this public underscore HTML directory. And different servers might have different, um, might name that differently. But I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to go to site, and I'm going to manage this site. And I'm going to click on it and edit it. So I'm going to click over here to servers, click on your array, and click the pencil. So what I needed is I needed a root directory. So I got it now. So now when I connect, so I'm just getting out of this, and remember I like to expand it, is now I can see everything on my URA site. So I can see some of this student P, everything, you know, all of that's just basically the 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 path to my public folder. And my public folder no one sees but me, so I can see this. But what this means basically is that if I go to open my web browser and I type in my web address and then say EdWeb, I will see whatever's in this on my server. All right. So now let's go ahead and create some sites. So I'm going to disconnect. And so 
While I could just use this URA site as a general way to upload all of my files, I find especially when you're new to web development, it's easier to create individual sites for individual web pages or projects that you're working on. Even if they're all going to be on the same server, it's easier to create different places for them. So I'm going to go back to my URA folder and I'm going to create a folder for called first web for the first assignment. Now whenever I create a folder for a website, I tend to always create folders within it, one for images and one for CSS. Now we'll get into CSS later and you technically won't always use CSS for every website, but these are just two things I always put by default. So I'm going to go back to my URA folder and I'm going to repeat these steps for the second web and the third web. So you might even want to create one for your EdWeb later. And depending on how you wanted to manage it, you could even do one for your functional prototype. So EdWeb, I'm going to create a images and CSS folder in there as well. So now what I've done basically is I've created on my desktop basically my system of where I'm going to put all my folders. So if I go into my class folder, I can see that I have everything I want right here. So this system works well for me and I think for students it helps them keep things separate. But now we need to actually go into Dreamweaver and create a corresponding site for each one. So I'm going to click site, I'm going to click new site, I'm going to call this first web. I'm going to browse for the first web folder, hit select and I'm going to just repeat these steps. Click the plus sign, I name it, first web, I do SFTP, type in the, the web address, and so down here I have to do public underscore dot HTML and first web because that's where it's located. But watch what happens. I'm going to click save and save. And basically it's yelling at me that it doesn't like that I'm creating a site within a site. But and and because it, the synchronization tool that they use won't work if you want to do that. With big sites you you know you probably wouldn't do this, but when you're just learning, I think this works fine. But when I go to connect, it gives me an error. And so the error it gives me is that it can't find a folder called first web on my in on my web server on URA. So I gotta go back to my general URA account connection and I'm going to expand it and I have to create folders on URA to correspond with my folders on my desktop. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to say new folder so now if I go back and if I change to first web and try to connect you'll see that it works just fine. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and go back to my general URA connection and I'm just going to create my other folders while I'm here. Second web and you got to pay attention to your how you name them so if you have a space or a capital they have to be exactly the same. Oops. See there I go. What it wants you to do is scroll up and be make sure you click on this top part. All right, so one more for the EdWeb. Ah, so I already have one called EdWeb. It's looking like, so it's mad at me. So I'll call this EdWeb2, so it'll allow me to do this, and I'll just delete this and scroll up and s verify. Yep, I have one called EdWeb. Okay, so now it looks like I have my first web, second web, and you can look, always check to make sure you named them exactly the same. Alright, that looks good. So now we have to create a new site, basically a new connection for each one, because I've done one for first web in URA, but I need to do one for the other. So I'm going to click site, new site. I'm going to call this second web. 
and go to the folder and then I'm going to go to servers click the plus sign call it second web have to choose SFTP I could test my password again if I wanted to but usually if I know it works I'm fine have to put in this public underscore HTML in this case because I I have to do second web but I know it works because I created that folder already so I'm going to click save save then I'm going to do the third web it's good server sometimes I just keep going and I forget what I'm doing alright SFTP and then once I can set these up they're good to go now if I go to another computer I would need to repeat these steps but in this case if you're working from one computer you should have no problems and you only have to do it once so I'm going to do one last one Now you could do more than just the ones that I'm doing. I'm simply setting up for the main assignments in the course. So just like that, I'm going to expand it, and I'm going to, from this drop-down, test my connections. Connects, okay, so if I want to scroll this out, I can see first web, first web, that looks good. Connect. And so right now, the, I don't see these folders because I've not uploaded them. But I could s definitely do that if I wanted to see them. So I'm just testing all my connections. And they all look good. All right. So if I go back to the first web, if I really wanted to, I could take these, and I'm just going to hold down the control key, and I could drag them over, and I see that plus sign, and there it just uploaded them. So that worked fine. And so and if there were images or things within it, would have brought them over. So right now, I'm going to actually get out of this, and I'm going to go to Notepad. Any simple text editor could work. The key, if you're on a Mac, is the, um, the default text editor on that you have to change your settings to get it to work but I'm just gonna do hello world with an h1 tag which is just a big heading tag I'm gonna save this I'm gonna go to my websites my course folder you in this case I'm just gonna put it at the main level that I would see my index file as but I'm going to call a sample. We'll just call it Hello World. Got to put the .html if I'm using a text editor. And if I want to see what this looks like on my computer without uploading it first, if you're new to HTML, I can just click on it and I can see it's opening it on my local machine, but the HTML looks good. So now I'm going to upload that. So I'm going to use Dreamweaver. So Dreamweaver, the FTP tool, can be used for files that aren't created in Dreamweaver. I'm going to because it's. I'm going to put this in my general URA connection because I just want to put it at the root level. So I'm going to click. I see it on the right. I'm going to drag it over. And when I do this, you have to be very careful that you get it exactly where you want it. That's why I like to create connections. Um, sites for each assignment because sometimes you'll go to drag something and you'll put it in the wrong place. In this case I'm going to carefully put it at the top level and it says do you want to put dependent files? I'll say yes. And then now let's see what it looks like. So now to f f see what your site looks like you gotta go to URI ucdenver.edu. You have to put the tilde and then put your username. Oops, cats are on. And in this case, I called this, it's not within second web, third web. If it was, I would do something like this sample, but it's not. I put it at the root level. So I'm going to go down here, 
All right, so I called it hello world. And there it is. So just to explain a little further how it works, so I'm going to disconnect this, minimize this. If, on the other hand, I did want this same in my first web folder, if I dragged it to first web folder, notice that sometimes Dreamweaver creates this. This is the dependent file thing that it was talking about. I'm going to just go ahead and delete this right now. And that's why it's really nice to have everything within a. Um, all right, within a folder because then you can carefully manage where things are located. So in this case, I'm going to actually choose first web because it's much easier. So I can see my hello worlds here. If I click on it and just click this plus button, it's just going to upload it in there just like that. It's there. But now to see it, because I moved it, now when I hit refresh, that's it. now when I go to do it, I should get a page not found. And the browser cache, I think, is still showing it there. But, oh, actually, it's there because it's still <laughs> a Nure. Just because I moved it locally didn't move it here. So I'm going to actually go to Hello World. On my server, I'm going to delete it. So now if I go back to First Web, I can connect. And that looks good, 1-1. One one. So now it's showing me it's not there because I moved it. Where it's at now is it's in my first web. So that's it. So that's a basic way of setting up a good file structure on your computer, setting up individual sites in Dreamweaver, setting up those FTP connections, and FTPing a basic file to URA, and then seeing what it looks like. Thanks.